Hello, I am Dr. Ankit Avasti. I am an eye surgeon, uh, a vitreo retina surgeon to be precise. I have done my MBBS from uh, Sri Dev Rajas Medical College, Kolar. Thereafter, I have done my post graduation in ophthalmology and super speciality retina surgery training in Arvind Eye Hospital, Madurai. And uh, I have been working as a vitreo retina surgeon for the last 10 years. Uh, I started in Madurai, then to Vishakapatnam. And finally, I am in Lucknow, where I own and run my own retina center, Sudeep Retina Care, a center of excellence in retinal disease management. Now, how does one go about becoming an eye surgeon? Or why should one become an eye surgeon? Uh, unfortunately, the, the magnitude of problem in India and the need and requirement of eye care in India is just tremendous. We have close to one third of all the blind people of the world here in India, and a merely uh, and a mere 20 to 25,000 eye surgeons in India to tend to them. Uh, we merely have just one eye surgeon for about one lakh urban population, and this increases to just one eye surgeon for about two lakh rural population in India. That these are very dismal figures which I am telling you. Now, let me shed some light on how you can become an eye surgeon. And I have already told you why uh, you should choose this as a career option. Firstly, you should be a med MBBS graduate to begin with. And after you have completed your MBBS, uh, you can choose for a postgraduate degree in ophthalmology in any of the medical colleges. The degrees which will be offered to you are Masters of Surgery or MS or Diploma in Ophthalmology or the DO degrees. In addition, you have the option of DNB degree or Diplomate of National Board degree in Ophthalmology. To begin with, during your MBBS course, you would have had enough ample opportunities to judge whether you have an interest in the subject, whether you have a surgical in, uh, whether you have surgical acumen and aptitude towards the subject and you have the single mind and de dedication to become a good eye surgeon. Now the diploma course is a two year course which like I mentioned is the diploma, uh, diploma in ophthalmology, two year course. The masters in surgery or, or MS ophthalmology is a three year course which is offered by all, all the medical colleges. Now, all the universities to which your respective medical college uh, is affiliated, at the end of the course, they will give you a degree of ophthalmology. It could be MS, DNB, or DO, depending on which one you have chosen from. In addition, you have the option, like I mentioned, of DNB, or the Diplomat of National Board, which is given to you by National Board of Examinations, which is a central body. Uh, which is based in Delhi and it is by a parliamentary act which this body has come into force and it gives postgraduate medical education in India a big boost. Uh, this body affiliates a lot of medical institutions not only in ophthalmology but across all the medical fields and you can uh, apply to these institutions, uh, do your three year course in ophthalmology and then appear for the respective examinations, clear them and become a degree holder of the DNB ophthalmology. Uh, like I said, the DNB is a three year course and is equivalent to a MS ophthalmology course. During these courses, uh, be it the MS or the DO or the DNB courses, you are taught about the structure and function of the eye and its related structures, the diseases which affect the different structures of the eye and how to medically or surgically manage them. You are given hands-on training on different type of eye surgeries or ocular surgeries. Uh, a big list can begin with cataract surgery or glaucoma surgery or retina surgery or it could be squint surgery or pediatric cataracts in very young age children. So the list goes on, so on and so forth. You can uh, undergo training in any of these specialties later. At the end of the course, you are put through an examination uh, partly which is a theoretical examination and then the practical examination follows and once you clear these two examinations 
you have finally conferred the degree. Uh, it could be MSD or DNB, whichever you have opted for. Further, after completing your post-graduation, you have a chance to go ahead with super speciality training in different fields. You could have chosen your field along your two year post, uh, three year post-graduation. The different fields which are available are retina surgery, glaucoma surgery, cataract surgery, pediatric ophthalmology or squint surgeries. Then you can also opt for uh, glaucoma as a training program. And uh, uh, in addition to that, you can go for cornea and refractive surgeries. Uh, large and premier institutes of India, such as the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, the Shankar Netrale, uh, Chennai, Arvind Eye Hospital and their group in Madurai and elsewhere in Tamil Nadu, uh, LV Prasad Eye Hospital in, uh, Shankar, uh, in uh, Hyderabad and uh, Nara Netrale uh, in Bangalore are the few institutions, one of the few in fact, which offer these courses all through uh, out India. There are, the list goes on and on. You can choose among uh, any of these premier institutes. Uh, the fellowships which they offer in these super specialities are either short term, which is about two months duration, or long term fellowships, which can vary between one, two years. And at the end of these fellowships, you can become super specialists in addition to your postgraduate degree, which I mentioned. In case you wish to go abroad or overseas to work, uh, in the US and the European countries, unfortunately, the Indian postgraduate degrees are not recognized uh, on the face of them. And therefore, you need to go there, clear their licensing exams first, and then redo your residency there as the post-graduation is termed residency in these areas. And uh, after the residency, you've, once you've passed it, only then are you eligible to practice in these countries. Um, so it would be a better option if you can, if these are the options you are choosing, if you have to go abroad, you should do it after doing your MBBS instead of after finishing your residency because that will save you a good three number of years of doing your post-graduation here in India. Uh, other countries such as the Gulf countries, they recognize Indian postgraduate degrees and therefore right after your PGs, just by clearing their licensing, licensing exams, you can go to these countries and practice uh, as an ophthalmologist. And that uh, definitely is a great option which you have. All in all, it's a great career option which gets you a tremendous professional satisfaction. It gets you an opportunity to serve the society and the nation by way of treating your patients, not to mention the financial aspects of it, of course. And so all the best for a great career and and. Happy being an ophthalmologist. Thank you and a goodbye.